Hello, everybody. This is your host, Team Park Conductor. I am back um, after a long um, personal issues that I was having um, in my life. I'm very glad to say that I'm going to be returning back to the theme park, starting with Universal. Um, hopefully, I can go back to Disneyland maybe in the summertime. I'm having a little bit of uh, issues with them, but I did uh, renew my annual pass with Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, and uh, today, we're going to be reviewing a POV video that a YouTube channel, which you should definitely check out. His YouTube name is Amusement Insider. He posted a POV video of the upcoming Fast and Furious roller coaster coming to Universal Studios Hollywood in either late 2024 or early 2025. We will be reviewing this video next. And we are back. And um, before I start this video, I do have a surprise for everybody. Like I said uh, uh, a minute ago, that uh, I'm going to be returning back to the theme park starting with Universal Studios Hollywood. And as many of you probably do know, Universal Studios Hollywood has a massive transformation with all the construction happening. Um, we see that the One Up uh, Power Cafe uh, just got just opened today, grand opening today, up on the upper lot on New York Street, and that's just featuring some new stuff that we didn't have before, which is very awesome. Um, I do agree with some people that kind of wish that Super Nintendo World was made. Uh, a little bigger at a week. It was kind of weird to have a cafe so far away from Super Nintendo World, but I'm totally thankful to Universal for doing it. Um, but without further ado, let's watch this video that, again, Amusement Insider, that's his YouTube name, came out with his POV several days ago. And he takes all the credit, and I give him all the credit because the video looks absolutely amazing. So let's take a look at that now. Let me uh, get on that real quick. Okay, here we go. We're going to take a look at this right now. So without further ado, let's look at it.
So that was a video, again, posted by Amusement Insider. And I just want to clarify something. That was absolutely incredible. I've never been to Walt Disney World because I know a lot of people that have in Roan Cosmic Rewind have kind of related the, the ride system to what this is going to be at Hollywood. And I'm absolutely astonished and blown away that Universal was able to come up with a roller coaster on the side of a mountain and pull this off is just absolutely incredible because we all know Universal Studios Hollywood is very unique. They are still an active movie studio. They still do active uh, movies, commercials, TV shows, promotions, all day, every day, seven days a week. And what a massive work by the hill like this is absolutely astonishing. And I, I'm so grateful to you. Believe me, I, I think anybody that covers Universal Studios Hollywood is totally excited, like myself, to be a, a past member and just to know that this type of ride is coming to the park. It is absolutely incredible. Like I said earlier, um, this Saturday is going to be one year anniversary of Super Nintendo World and they are giving out a old Mario Power Band that you can buy at any Super Nintendo World location um, shop inside the theme park. So I'm actually going to be doing um, early entry for that day. So I'm going to be able to go inside the park at 7 a.m. and see everything firsthand before the general public um, gets to go in. And I am hopefully going to be one of the first people to buy that golden power band. And I think it's like 30 bucks or something like that, 35 bucks. But it's just the mere fact that you have it. So cool. I think I even tell you how cool it is. And, um, while I'm talking to you guys about this, I'm going to try to look it up so you guys can see what it looks like if many of you don't know the uh, golden uh, 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 band uh, looks like. I'm going to put that up for you guys right now. And I'm going to show you what what exactly this is going to look like here. Um, oh, man. Let me see. I'm trying to find a good picture of it because it's kind of... Uh, here we go. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. My computer's getting weird. Let me share my screen real quick. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, here we go. So this right here is what they are selling at Universal Studios Hollywood this Saturday. And I don't know how long they're going to have this for, but I know I'm going to get my hands on one immediately. <laughs> I'm not even going to hesitate on that one. Look how cool this looks. Look how cool the box looks and everything. And then also... Um, at Guest Relations, let me see if I can click on this real quick. At Guest Relations, this is an actual button that you can buy, or not buy, I'm sorry. You can get at Guest Relations. They're handing these out, and these are limited. Basically, shows Mario with the um, Mount theme pole in the back with the green mushroom one up. It says Super Nintendo World on it, Universal Studios Hollywood, first anniversary, has some stars. It looks really, really amazing. So I'm definitely going to be getting one of those for sure as a keepsake. And then also I'm going to be going on the studio tour because they are doing a lot of massive construction going on um, to get ready for the 60th anniversary 
of Universal Studios Hollywood. And I'm not talking about the, the studio itself. The studio itself has been around over a hundred and I think it's like 110 years or some, some close to that. So they've been around for quite some time. I'm talking about the actual theme park itself has been around 60 years which is absolutely incredible. So they are doing a lot of updates. Um, one of them being um, on the uh, earthquake attraction that has been down for, I think a little over a year now, they are enhancing it or making updates for it. Um, and it's gonna include some new stuff supposedly that we haven't seen before. So that should be definitely interesting they are supposedly creating a path behind the world of the war um, sets. Um, there's like a, a carved out tram path that they're making. So I don't know if that's gonna be something permanent or what that is. Um, I also have heard that they are doing something to do with um, uh, the, um, what is it? It's uh, Jupiter's claim area. They're supposed to be doing something in that area. Um, so we're, we're going to hopefully see definite enhancements coming to the studio tour. Um, like uh, Dylan from Theme Park Obsession uh, pointed out in his latest video of Universal Studios Hollywood, over 200 million people have ridden the studio tour. And the studio tour, like he also stated, is very unique to Universal Studios Hollywood because no other Universal Park has something like this. And on top of that, Universal Studios Hollywood kind of started uh, kind of was the birthplace of all other universal parks around the United States and around the world. So that is definitely something to celebrate. And I am very looking forward to going on Saturday and seeing all the updates and improvements, and checking on uh, the Fast and Furious uh, roller coaster uh, construction updates, um, just checking up on all the updates, uh, period. Now, uh, two things exciting in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter that are going on right now, actually three. Um, the stage that they do shows on, that's actually currently right now. Uh, behind walls. I don't know if it's the general for it, it probably is. And then um, on the other side, the extended queue, um, that um, they are, Universal Studios Hollywood is actually following the direction of Universal Studios Florida um, by putting the lockers that we all can conclude that uh, was a major uh, pinch point and congestion area inside the castle just before you get into um, the inside ride queue for the ride. Um, they are actually building a structure on the outside uh, extra queue area space and they're gonna put the lockers outside so it's not so congested when you enter uh, the castle. So that's definitely something um, that I'm gonna be checking up on on Saturday. And also I'm gonna be checking up on inside, um, oh man, uh, not Filters Emporium, but the, the candy store. I can't think of the name right now, but the candy store because they have a section of the candy store that is actually walled off and supposedly the rumors going around is that they're going to be bringing a uh, soft serve ice cream that orlando's um diagon alley has which is butterbeer ice cream soft serve so i really hope that's the case because 
I've had the butter beer drink hot and cold, and I love them both. So I can only imagine what the ice cream soft serve is going to be. So I cannot wait for that. Um, I will be posting uh, updates, pictures on my Instagram, on my Twitter. Um, definitely posting some shorts and some videos on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. And I want to say that, again, I'm super excited to be slowly coming back to the theme parks and that I'm extremely thankful to all my fans out there who are still supporting me, who have still continued to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to get back into the swing of things. And I'm still working on my personal issues that I had to take a break from YouTube uh, for a while, but I appreciate everybody um, just sticking around and watching the amazing content that's going to be posted on the channel in 2024. I cannot wait. And I hope the guys, I hope to do a live stream coming up. So we will be doing a live stream hopefully in the next week or so. But uh, besides that, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody, and I will be seeing you guys soon.